life in LA is very different from life here in that um, you can plan easily. You know, the sky is pretty much, particularly in LA, blue every day. So if you want to have a barbecue, you have a barbecue. You know, we, we grill food every day. Um, we've got the beach 20 seconds down the road from where we live. The whole weight issue in LA is fairly ludicrous. I mean, the rest of America, strangely, is known for being a little bit more overweight. But in LA, it's crazy. I've never been anywhere where people are so conscious of how they look. And in a way, it makes you want to go the other way. I was in Beverly Hills the other day and there was this mother walking in front of me with her like seven-year-old daughter. And the daughter's like, you know, mummy, did, does this dress make me look too thin? And the mum's like, darling, you can never look thin enough. And this girl was seven and I really wanted to stop the mother and give her a talking to because it's like, you know, what are you thinking? When I had my daughter Kaya, the funny thing was when I was pregnant, I had no idea that I was putting on weight and right the way through, I thought I was one of these women who was just gaining a, a belly and actually if you looked at me from behind, you wouldn't even know I was pregnant. And now when I look back at pictures, it's so funny because I'm like, how did I think that? You know, my whole body just blew up. I think some of it is... Um, uh, hereditary you know my mum put on a lot of weight when she was pregnant but I put on about four and a half stone with Kaya and she when she was born weighed nine pounds six so there was a slight discrepancy there my weight sort of plateaued after about a year and a half of having her and um, I'd sort of hit size 12 stroke 14 about 10 and a half stone and I couldn't lose any more and I, I can't remember being under 10 stone ever really I'd kind of resigned myself to the fact that I was going to be at 12, 14 and I was happy with that. You know, I've been that in my life before and it's it's a fine size. But for me, I did want to be slightly smaller because I just felt like I was carrying a few excess pounds around. Couldn't do it through exercise um, and diet. And then I discovered this product, LipoBind, and I'm very anti-taking products and stuff like that. But I love the fact that it was organic and completely natural, cactus-based, um, so I didn't feel like I was putting chemicals in my body because I wasn't. For me, the main benefits are that I feel um, healthier for Kaya and running around after her, I have a lot more energy. Um, and I feel more attractive, you know, I'm a, I'm a mother, but I'm also a wife and every woman wants to feel good when they're walking around the bedroom naked. And, you know, you don't want to feel like you're hiding behind your dressing gown or something. And I, I feel really confident. I feel as confident as when I first got married, you know, it's, and it's nice to feel like that. I, I thought for a while that I wouldn't be that confident again. I think the biggest tip I would have for people that are struggling is to be realistic about your goal you know don't put up pictures of supermodels around the house because none of us are that tall if they are they're very lucky um and you know they're all airbrushed those pictures anyway so have a picture of you when you felt confident and you felt great about yourself and put it on your fridge because that means you can achieve it um other tips if you don't want to eat it don't have it in the house you know i don't have any biscuits or anything like that in my house because i know that i'll hit a slump and be tired at some point and reach for it so if it's not there you can't have it um my other tips lots of water definitely you know you've got to um drink lots during the day probably about i normally drink two of those big bottles of water and a lot of the time you think you're hungry you're not you're thirsty um so that would be a big tip um, and have a kind of time scale on trying to lose weight and get healthy you know if you've got a wedding coming up or a holiday it really helps because if you're just losing weight then you'll you'll cheat a bit and then you'll go oh I'll start next week I've messed this week up already you know we've all done it and you can just go on forever like that or if you haven't got any big event coming up make a big event you know book a weekend for you and your husband away during which you want to feel fabulous or a weekend when you're going to Barcelona with the girls or you know anything just give yourself a treat at the end of the work and um and obviously always have lipo bind in your bag because then you won't be tempted to go off track